All right, so you can see at the front of the box, it does say PlayStation camera, so it's not actually the PlayStation Eye anymore. So on the back side, you'll get some information on what you actually get with the camera and what it can do. I'll get into this in a bit when we open it up. Let's cut through this tape. Let me get my oversized unboxing knife here and just cut through it. So the first thing on the back side looks like we've got a stand. We'll open that up, take a quick peek at that. And uh, it looks like you can shape it. I'll actually play around with that with the PlayStation camera in a second. So we've also got some paperwork here. And then turning it over, we've got the PlayStation camera itself. Now the camera is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. And actually, I think it twists. It does. So you can actually tilt this up or down like so and sort of get like a different angle to the camera itself. This is pretty interesting. Um, as I said, it is a lot smaller and you can connect it up with this stand here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's just see how I can maneuver this. So it looks like this end here would actually go over your TV if you wanted to. You can see up top here, we've got a couple of things um, that can actually help you. So we'll just set this up as its own stand. We'll just put it up top on top like this. It'll connect on the bottom of the camera itself. You just have to give it a little press. It should just go right in. And there you go, you've got a stand for the camera. But I'm probably gonna mount this on top of my TV. Now, as you can see on the front side here, we've got two wide angle, and on the back of the box, it says these are highly sensitive wide angle lenses, which will precisely track the position of multiple players and allow their body movements to control the game. I'm excited to try this out, and keep in mind, if you're somebody who likes to post gameplays on Twitch, this'll be great, because now you can actually use this for a picture in picture with your face as well as your gameplay being shown while you're broadcasting live. It's really interesting how PlayStation has put this all together. That's why I was excited to get this in particular here. So taking a quick look at the port on the back here, let um, me just remove this. You can see that we're actually using a proprietary connector. So this is not going to be a universal USB. This is pretty much just going to work with the PS4. So it's not going to be reverse compatible or usable with a computer or anything like that. Pretty much stuck to the PS4, which is not too bad. I'm pretty sure the Kinect is like that as well. Now alongside the two cameras, we've got four microphones, two in the middle, one on the outside on the right, and then one on the outside on the left here. And this is gonna help you if you're doing gameplays with friends, and you can actually talk with friends through this. I'm not sure how good of quality this would probably come out to. Again, we'll read from the back of the box. It integrates four microphones to allow voice navigation of the user interface and voice chat with friends online. So it does say you can do it. Another cool feature with this particular camera is that you can actually use it for facial recognition. So if you log into your PlayStation and you want to log in with your face as that way it'll recognize you and log you into your specific account you can do so now it says on the back of the box once again that it does integrate with the PlayStation 4 light bar on the controller now just taking one more look at the stand here this is actually a nice feature especially if you want to mount this on your TV set now it does have a nice rubber lip here on the front which will allow you to basically put this over the front of your TV and sort of mount it on top of the TV set like this this back piece you can put nice and tight to the back of the TV and then just connect your PlayStation camera up top and that way you get it out of the way and it's not sitting on your PlayStation or anything like that. I'm probably going to mount mine like this but uh, I'm going to play around with that and see how it looks. Now as for the camera itself just a closer look here at what you're getting. It's just a basic camera or basic dual camera here and you can see on all sides the bottom you've got your connector you've got your cord and again it's not using a standard USB cable so you're pretty limited to just the PS4. 